I was supposed to show you my breakfast after that run, but that run was so exhausting. It was really tough. I mean, it was a hard run. Not that not every run is a hard run because every run is a hard run for me. As you probably can tell from the title of this video, it's gonna be a what I eat in a workday, glucose friendly, friendly recipes kind of video. Four, five, I'm always unsure how many tablespoons I'm gonna go for. This video is sponsored by Very. It's the brand that I'm using to track my glucose response. Also want to mention that I am not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. This video is only meant for inspiration. I just wanted to mention that so that we don't have any misunderstandings here. I just love experimenting with my own body and trying to find healthy habits and foods that I that make me feel good. Head and body happy. This is my favorite time of the day when you have if you have worked out, I don't work out every morning. That would have been exhausting. But you know the feeling when you, you've you had like a good morning or you've had a shitty morning. You're about to make your coffee or you're making your coffee. It's like calm and quiet. That's my favorite part. I always keep it in for too long. And then my hair looks like this. I've been trying to cut down on the coffee consumption. But coffee, <clears throat> coffee for me is so much more than just like the caffeine kick or the taste. Coffee for me does something to my brain. I can wake up in the morning and, and doubt everything that I'm doing. Like my whole existence. I wake up, have a cup of coffee and nothing is a problem. Nothing is a problem anymore after I've got two cups of coffee. Let's make some crisp bread. Following my own recipe here. It's very easy. You just mix all the ingredients in a bowl. Just mix that together a little bit. Two cups of water and you're all done. This is just gonna sit for a little bit so that the seeds soak up the water. We're gonna get into the juicy stuff here. Just gonna scan my glucose levels. The very app is like your personal metabolic health coach. A glucose spike is completely normal. It's your, your body's normal function. But what we want to avoid is the jagged mountains, like the sharp increases and the rapid falls. So we want those curved glucose responses. The jagged mountains are often caused by processed foods that are lacking fiber and they contain sugars and a lot of other nasty ingredients. So it's going to make your glucose spike and then crash. And for me personally, that crash and that spike does not feel good. This can affect your hormone health. It can increase inflammation in your body. So we want to avoid those sharp glucose spikes. 
um, to better our metabolic health, basically. What's genius about Vary is that you don't have to understand anything about what I was saying just now, because Vary is going to teach you everything that you need to know inside the app. And you can use my discount code to get some money off. Now, let's look at my glucose spike from this morning. So this is my spike. It's not bad at all. It's a really nice spike. I didn't have a crash after. I went down to the, my normal glucose levels and I feel, I still feel really good after eating. It's been three hours since I ate breakfast now. So that's good. You want to get it as evenly as possible. Like that. And now we just pop this in the oven. I feel accomplished. Done. 40 minutes later. It's a bit big. These are perfect sizes. I'm gonna go off camera and enjoy this now. Uh, hello. We are in the car because we are gonna go to the grocery store and get some ingredients. Grocery shopping is my profession. And I also got a notification that said that my glucose response from the crisp breads that I ate two hours ago are in. We have some very surprising results. I have been testing these crisp breads before. What am I trying to say? I know that I have a good glucose response to these crisp breads, but today, not so good. This is my glucose response and it's high to a very glucose friendly recipe. So that's interesting and I thought maybe I should try to eat them again and see if the glucose response is better, but we're going to keep it real here. But this is the interesting stuff though, because seeing that my glucose responds differently to the same foods on different days, because I'm stressed or I'm not feeling my best, something, I'm, I'm more sensitive. This is the things that I love seeing though, because I can actually see the results in this app and I can try to figure out how my body is doing from actual data. Okay, let's go and get some groceries. to be able to feel more from the grocery store but I got very shy and I it was very uncomfortable for me to film. Today I felt like people were staring more than usual. <coughs> Gonna work a little bit on my computer, get back to some emails, put a recipe in my app, post some properties because I'm working for my father's property firm, so I'm posting, advertising their properties on social media. We will be back for dinner in a bit. Okay, bye. Welcome, welcome. So, found this in my fridge. Uh, it started to mold a little bit, but we should be good with just cutting some of that mold away. Green miso curry. This magazine was interviewing me 
on different food hacks and it was me and another person. So the other person's tip was to scrunch like the way I did with the parchment paper then it's gonna lay out all flat and they were asking me what I thought about that tip and I was like I just flip it over because it's you know it's rolled inside and then you just flip it over and then um, lay it straight down like almost like no I'm not I'm too good for that tip and now I'm using it all the time we've got half a broccoli I really did not want to do any cooking now. Broccoli goes on to the baking sheet. Baking tray. Tofu is also very underrated. Crispy tofu in the oven or in your skillet or yeah, it's really good. Olive oil on top. You know what? Today has been a pain in the butt. Actually, no. The day started pretty good. And then, or now, now I'm feeling low on energy. Mm. Okay. Just bake that until the tofu is crispy and the pumpkin is cooked through. Oh God, I'm, I'm so hungry now, I can't even think. These are the times when you want to have something prepped in your fridge. Okay, we're gonna turn this into a, a positive experience. I'm in the week before my uh, period, which means that I am lacking energy. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to work out. I feel like everything is just... Ugh. I have to give myself a little bit slack. So we're gonna make the miso green curry-ish sauce for our bowl now. Cilantro, the garlic and the ginger goes in. Miso paste goes in. Two. Two big tablespoons of soy sauce. Spinach, some chili flakes, and some cumin. The coconut milk goes in. A little bit of lemon juice, and we're there. Andreas? Do you want to taste my homemade green curry base? No. Come here and let me know if something is missing. Mm. Ooh. Quinoa, the vegetables and tofu. I just heated this up in the microwave, but you can heat it up on the stove if you want. That looks delicious. Beautiful mushrooms. Drizzle of coriander. Some pumpkin seeds. And that's it. So I just need to get a little bit of everything and give you a very honest opinion. Cheers. Mm. That's delicious. I'm gonna make a recipe reel on this one for sure, with crunchy peanuts on top. <laughs> Give us a reaction. Mm. That's your reaction? Wow. the sounds we got our tea we got our dark chocolate and we are ready 
to call it a day. To be honest, I I haven't had the energy in this video that I was hoping for. I had a vision for this video and it didn't turn out the way I hoped. So I'm a bit disappointed. I'm probably thinking more about what people want to see and what is like not trending but what's popular on YouTube. Some days that is not me. Should I make videos that I like myself and that is actually sustainable for me to make or should I make videos only on the days where I can bring the energy? The answer is simple so why am I doubting myself? It's stupid but it's true. This is a question for you. This is a question for you and for me. Are you doing the things you do because you want to do it for yourself because it's exciting or are you doing it because of other people's opinions why are you why do you want to be successful why do you want that job why do you want your video to look a certain way is it because it makes me happy or is it because it makes other people happy being a social media content creator it's not my natural state <laughs> I've always cared a lot about other people's opinions on me I guess it's kind of natural to do that but I grew up in a little a very small city and people always had something to say about everyone something negative and I felt like I had to like perform for other people to like me almost. So starting this whole social media content creation journey for me has been a ongoing battle on this topic. Some days are I have fallbacks where I where I'm thinking about what other people think about what I'm doing and posting and if that's in, if that reel was stupid whatever and some days I have no issue at all on posting stupid things or things that I want to post things that I think is funny or valuable or whatever fruit tea like the berry tea hibiscus tea is the very best tea and when I have those thoughts Something that really helps me is thinking about what I want to do, what makes me happy, of course, like I mentioned, but also thinking about how lucky I am. I'm so lucky to have the opportunities that I have. It's like a trillion, billion in a chance that you actually live. And here we are, and someday we're gonna die. Hate to break it to you. The sun is gonna stop shining. And then all of this is not gonna matter. Other people's opinions. That job, that career that you built, used your whole life to build. Sacrifices, all the things, not gonna matter. So you might as well just do the things that makes you happy. That fulfills you and makes you enjoy the process of being a human. We all have the goals that we want to achieve. But for it truly to like be a life that you enjoy, you have to enjoy the process. I truly believe that if you don't enjoy the process, it's going to be very hard for you to achieve your goals. Something is going to happen that makes it not possible for you to get to the finish line. But if you enjoy the process and you're going to be happy either way, 
you have nothing to lose. You're going to be happy if you reach that goal and or you're going to be happy if you don't reach that goal. Does that make sense? Or does it not make sense at all? Makes sense in my head. So I'm going to post this YouTube video because I enjoy seeing people being in their natural state. I'm getting better at not caring about what other people think about me. Getting a lot better and being a content creator has really skyrocketed that journey for me. The content creators that you see create authentic content, content, original content. Those people, I'm so inspired by those people because I, I now know what that takes to put yourself out on the internet today with all the opinions and shit from people. It's going to be hard. We're all just human beings and we're not cool or perfect all the time, even though social media makes it look like that a lot okay so I'm gonna show you my glucose response I wish you could hear all the birds singing like I do I don't think you can these microphones are really good at isolating background noise from my voice let me get my phone The results are in. So the dinner was was balanced and it gave me a good glucose response. So that's good news. And if you want to try very, you can use my discount code. It's linked in the de description. And I hope you love them as much as I do and that you got some meal inspiration from this video. These outros, I don't know how to do them. If you did watch my whole video, thank you. Okay, bye.